Oh, shalom. Shalom, boys and girls. I want to read this story to you called Bit by Bit. Yeah, it's one of my favorites. It was written by Steve Sanfield. And the illustrations are very cool. All the pictures, they were made by Susan Gaber. And it's called Bit by Bit. Well, hey, how about Chazan Glance tell this story? Okay. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. The story is called Bit by Bit. Boker Tov. I'm peeking out. And it begins, if I can turn the pages, look at that. I am a storyteller, which means that I tell stories, all kinds of stories, serious stories and sunny stories. Right now, I'm going to tell you a story about an old friend of mine who I've never met, but who I know quite well. His name is Zundel. And he lives across many seas in a small village neither you nor I have ever been to. Zundel is a tailor, a poor tailor. He earns his daily bread by sewing and stitching, mending and fixing coats and caps and dresses and wraps for the likes of you and me. Zundel once had a long winter coat. He wore it in the morning and he wore it at night. He wore it so much that bit by bit he wore it out. Zundel continued to sew and stitch and mend and fix until bit by bit he saved enough pennies to buy himself a beautiful piece of cloth. The cloth had red threads and gold threads, blue threads and green threads, and from that cloth, Zundel the tailor made himself another long winter coat. How Zundel loved that coat. He wore it in the morning, he wore it at night, he wore it and he wore it and wore it and wore it until bit by bit, he wore it out. Of course he was sad, but when he looked he saw there was enough of that beautiful cloth with the red threads and the gold threads, the blue threads and the green threads to make himself a jacket. How Zundel loved that jacket. He wore it in the morning and he wore it at night. He wore it and he wore it until bit by bit he wore it out. Zundel was even sadder this time, but when he looked, he saw there was enough of that beautiful cloth with the red threads and the gold threads and the blue threads and the green threads to make himself a vest. How Zundel loved that vest. He wore it in the morning and he wore it at night. He wore it and wore it and wore it and wore it and wore it until bit by bit he wore it out. I think I did one more wore, wore it <laughs> than what's on the page. Ooh, look at that. How close up of him working. Our poor tailor almost cried. He was sure there couldn't be anything left, but when he looked, he saw there was still enough of that beautiful cloth with the red threads and the gold threads and the blue threads and the green threads to make himself a cap. There's the cap. He, how Zundel loved that cap. He wore it in the morning and he wore it at night and wore it and wore it until bit by bit he wore it out. Looks like he's having ice cream. Zundel did cry this time. He was absolutely sure there was nothing, there was nothing, there was not going to be anything left. But when he looked, he saw there was still enough of that beautiful cloth with the red threads and gold threads and blue threads and green threads to make himself a pocket. How Zundel loved that pocket. He wore it in the morning and he wore it at night. He wore it and wore it and wore it and wore it until bit by bit, you say it this time, he 
wore it out. Through his tears, Zundel the tailor held his breath. Surely there could be nothing left. But when he looked, he saw there was just enough, just barely enough of that beautiful cloth with the red threads and gold threads and blue threads and green threads to make himself a button. A button. How Zundel loved that button. He loved it more than his coat. He loved it more than his jacket. He loved it more than his vest. He loved it more than his cap. He loved it more than his pocket. He loved it so much that he wore it in the morning and he wore it at night. He wore it and wore it and wore it and wore it until bit by bit he wore it out. Zundel was absolutely, completely, 100% that there could be nothing left. And when he looked, he saw he was right. There was nothing left. But when I looked, I saw there was just enough of that beautiful cloth with the red threads and the gold threads and the blue threads and the green threads for me to begin this story all over again. That's the back of the book.